This is probably something people have never contemplated before. Hello, welcome to Juniper Level Botanic Garden, the home of Plant Delights Nursery. I'm digging some bulbs for our nursery. Um, we do dig from our gardens so that we can offer certain plants for sale. Um, this is Rhodophiala bifida, um, hill country red. It's a little amaryllis relative and it looks a lot like an amaryllis. It's blooming about, oh, a foot tall. Um, has a bunch of common names, um, schoolhouse lily, hurricane lily, oxblood lily. The first two names because of the time of year that it blooms, late summer, early fall. But really, we're not focused on this exact species. I just uh, encountered some bulbs that are trying to plant themselves d deeper. Um, you know, this is a full-size bulb for Rhodophiala. There's some smaller bulbs that aren't blooming size that are perfectly normal looking. But then I found a bunch of weird looking bulbs. Um, and these bulbs are trying to plant themselves deeper. Um, the term I know is contractile roots, but it really looks more like the bulb itself is able to uh, pull itself deeper into the soil. Um, this is a clump that was planted in 2019. So it's uh, six years old and had gotten really congested and the bulbs are sort of bumping each other up out of the ground, but at the same time, they're trying to plant themselves deeper. Um, I've seen other uh, species do that, like daffodils and lycoris and oh, probably any number of other things with true bulbs. Um, in a true bulb, an onion is a true bulb. The little basil plate that you cut out of an onion before you chop it up for dinner is the compressed stem of a bulb. Um, and the roots are produced by it, and the actual bulb and the whole top of the plant is produced by that compressed stem. And they're trying to get the, the, the bulb further down in the soil instead of uh, right up at the surface. Um, there's really nothing you need to do when you replant them other than I just plant them deep enough so uh, they'll be down where they want to be. Um, when, uh, you know, this is uh, the middle of July, this has, that looks like a leaf from, leftover from uh, last season. They're just barely starting to put up new growth, but they'll be in growth in a, um, a, a couple of weeks and this late summer or even midsummer is a really good time to dig and divide them because they're coming back into growth and they'll reestablish really quickly but again our focus today is on contractile roots this is uh soil is really loose because i had dug up the whole clump a little while ago and sent the full-size bulbs to uh, the nursery um, I'm planting them a few inches apart so they have room to grow up into blooming size bulbs. And I'll plant this one full size bulb that I actually stole from another clump just so I had one for today's little video. And they are growing through a ground cover of um, Chrysogonum, Chrysogonum virginianum. I think it's still virginianum. Um, Eco lacquered spider, which is a real, real vigorous spreader, and the evergreen ground cover is really nice for a bulb that is only in active growth for six months of the year and then leaves a blank spot when it's not blooming. All right, well, thank you for your time today, and I hope to see you again in the garden.